Fortress College is Scotland's smallest regional college, serving a population of about 115,000 spread over a wide, mostly rural geographic area. Every year it enrolls around 1,300 full-time and 4,200 part-time students at its three main campuses across the Scottish borders. This video tells the story of how Borders College has led the way in harnessing heat from wastewater at Scottish Borders campus in Gala Shields. Borders College has always felt it should take a lead in sustainability issues. We signed Scotland's Climate Change Declaration in 2007 and were early adopters of the universities and colleges climate change commitment for Scotland. We've had an active sustainability committee for many years and developed our first carbon management plan for the period 2010 to 2015. We had many successes in that, but key to it was ensuring we had a sustainable low carbon heat supply. And that's where the Sharks system comes in. Uh, the great thing about working with the Borders College was that the guys here were very keen to drive um, a carbon reduction programme and were looking for a, a solution to take their carbon reduction programme onto the next level. They were looking at various forms of uh, heating suit, uh, services, so biomass, and we were introduced to the college by Scottish Water, who are one of our key partners in the programme. Um, once we got into the project, we identified that there was a, a good thermal demand, uh, there was a good uh, resource for us to tap into, and we formulated a project with the college that enabled us to identify an opportunity to deliver 95% heat load from our, energy, from our energy centre and achieve the, for the college 150 tonnes of carbon savings a year. The project itself is a really um, strong, innovative uh, demonstration of what our, our technology can do. Um, first of all, we've tapped into the main sewer line, um, which is one of the first times that we've been able to do that, to identify how using uh, town sewers as a resource is a positive way for us to deliver heat to a building. We've also done a retrofit programme, so without changing the college's heating system, we've been able to demonstrate that the heat pump technology can deliver solid thermal delivery of heat into the building without too much disruption to the buildings. And the third um, really important process that we went through is identifying how our technology can be uh, used as a district heating solution. We deliver heat to five plant rooms around the campus through an underground network of uh, heating pipes that we installed as part of the project. Alongside the technical aspects of the project, there were three other main challenges we had to overcome. The first was funding. With the college not having any access to capital funding, we needed to come up with a more innovative solution. In the end, we agreed that Shark would uh, source the funding and we would repay that through the heat supply agreement price. And I think that worked out well for us and it showed the true, true spirit, of, spirit of partnership. The second issue was around procurement. With us effectively procuring uh, heat supply for 20 years, we had to ensure that we met all the necessary regulations. We took some legal advice and in the end um, agreed that as Shark were the only supplier working with Scottish Water in the project, it would be appropriate for us to undertake this. And in the end, we published a, a voluntary ex-ante transparency notice ensuring we met all legal requirements. The third main challenge was the legal contract itself, and this took many months to, to, to resolve. I think there was frustration on both sides um, as, as we went through many iterations of the, of the heat supply agreement. But the fact that we came out smiling at the end of it and can still go for a beer or two with each other is testament to the fact that we wanted this to succeed on both sides. I think one of the main advantages we had in delivering this was the, the size of the college. Being a small institution, it enabled me to have direct access to the board to give them the assurance that they needed in terms of risk and that the project was going to be delivering what we said it would, which was um, financial certainty over the heat supply and also reducing our carbon footprint, but also managing the reputational risk. At the same time, I was working with the project team themselves very closely, so I was able to, I think, get a good mix of um, assurance for the board and also guidance for the project team to ensure they succeeded. So why Shark? Um, we completed various feasibility studies um, over the years and uh, we looked at Shark as a viable option uh, for the campus. Uh, Shark were actively looking at uh, uh, implementing the first of its kind in the UK uh, and the college were looking for uh, a product that would meet with our, our objectives. That was a low carbon alternative um, a system that would provide um, up to 95% of the campus heating needs um, and this met with all of those objectives. 
we, we faced a number of challenges um, uh, over, over the piece. Um, how do we retrofit a, a district heating scheme and a campus with multiple buildings, sizes, ages and designs? How do we integrate a, a, a new system uh, into our current controls regime and BMS system whilst at the same time retaining a fully functional gas backup system? Um, Shark were able to help us throughout that whole process um, with their expertise. This project was looked at really positively from a Scottish water perspective because they, right from, from the very top they, they, they recognise that this really fits with some of our core objectives of what we're here to do. It fits with Scottish Government objectives around renewable energy, decarbonising energy and in Scotland we're well known for being quite a cold, cold climate so more than 50% of our emissions come from heating. Um, and the Scottish Government has some fairly ambitious targets about turning the uh, heating system more and more renewable. Um, we've got targets of 11% renewable heat to be delivered by 2020. So from a Scottish water perspective, we are still publicly owned, uh, uniquely in the, the water sector in the UK. Um, so this, this excited the Scottish, Scottish Waters um, Board because it, it fits with all the objectives, both from uh, us corporately, but also from our uh, as our owner's perspective in the Scottish Government and therefore we really see the potential for this project to be the, the kickstart of a whole set of new projects across the public estate in Scotland and beyond addressing things like fuel poverty as well as the climate change targets. So we're not going to stop there, we're actually looking at uh, phase two um, which will include looking at various options for improving the efficiency of the system even further. This will include uh, looking at solar, solar PV in, in order to provide electricity for the heat pumps and various other options we've got going forward.